Hi everyone and welcome to episode 12 of The Viz, your weekly video update on goings on around BCM and its projects. Now the eagle eyed among you may have noticed that it's looking a bit brighter in the studio this week and that's because I decided to change the batteries in my tripod lamp so it's essentially like looking at the surface of the sun. So I just hope I'm looking in the right place for the camera and I certainly won't be operating heavy machinery or driving a car over the next couple of days. I just hope that the flashing spots every time I blink will have dissipated by this Saturday's big backyard campout, BCM's fun initiative to help people ease out of lockdown and enjoy the end of term and the start of summer. More details can be found on our website and there'll be a bit later on as well. In the meantime, let's see what's been happening around BCM. And first we'll kick off with this video from David and Norma Gallagher. Now, David and Norma are volunteers with BCM, they're members of the Grosvenor Hall congregation, and David is on the BCM board. Bit of backstory, they were also teachers at my old school, so it's very difficult not to go, hello Dr Gallagher, you know, whenever I pass them in the corridors at work, but David and Norma saw this new foal prancing around the fields near their home in Lisburn, and it really is a beautiful sight to see. Enjoy. Welcome to Poetry Corner. With a big backyard campout happening this weekend, what better subject matter for this week's poem than camping? So I found this online by an Alex Hoffman, and it's simply called When You Go Camping. When you go camping and the world lifts itself from your shoulders and the problems back home seem silly and irrelevant human life, and what you may have been trying to achieve in your leather black ergonomic chair and your dark polished wood desk seems silly and irrelevant. The world is here, in the woodpeckers tap tap tapping in the trees, the checkered calculated lines of the water being pulled to shore by the wind, viewed from above like the birds that push themselves into the tide and float back to shore, then push themselves out again. The world is here, forgotten by the city and the construction workers crack 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 of the hammer the calculated system of traffic guided by flashing lights, turning signs and abrasive horns. From behind the wheel, where the man sits in a satin black suit and smooth leather car seat, sipping at his morning coffee purchased for 2 25 and cradled by spring-loaded cup holders, until he reaches for the silver handle of his glass office door and stops, looking down at his brown leather shoes that cut into the rounded bone on the side of his ankle and decides, it's time to go camping. Next week, we'll talk about why you don't wear brown leather shoes with a black satin suit. Well, I don't know about you, but I am all set to see in the summer with BCM this weekend as part of its big backyard campout. As you can see, we're tucked in nicely to our surprisingly comfortable sofa fort, and I'll probably burn some marshmallows under the grill because I don't actually have a barbecue. However authentic an experience you're going to have, please just enjoy it and have some fun, as all we want to do is celebrate the end of term and see in the start of summer together. As we've said before, there is no registration required and there's no registration fee. All that we ask is that you perhaps consider donating the money saved in terms of campsite fees or travel costs to BCN that we can continue our work in housing support and helping to combat homelessness across Northern Ireland. Thank you for your continued support and all the information on the event can be found on our Facebook page and website. In the meantime, work on those ghost stories. It's Julio's turn tonight. We'll see you next time.